All right, and we have begun. We have begun. Can you introduce yourself, please? My name is Sasha Starr, and I am uh, going into my second year teaching French at Northampton High School. Cool. And is that what you're teaching freshmen? Do you French one, or what would it be? I do. I'm the only French teacher, uh, so okay. I'll be doing whatever levels are offered, one through AP. Okay. Um, so this this semester we're doing um i believe french one and two and three i'm not positive okay. about that actually okay <laughs> cool i've been really getting into french french music a lot recently um there's a really good uh radio show down where i am that's uh, just french french rock you know nice yeah serge gainsbourg and stuff like that it's great stuff so music is a huge part of my classes. Every day, every class, we start with a French music video, French cool. language from around the world. Um, and I have a Spotify playlist that I've been creating for like four years now that former students still have it, uh, are connected to it. So um, I add to that all the time. Uh -huh. and, um, yeah, so it's, music is a huge part of my classes. That's awesome. Yeah, I actually do that at the beginning of every unit. I find a piece of music that's relevant to what we're studying nice. from that time and we, we kind of listen to it and we just say well what are we hearing uh, yeah, it's great. Exactly. are you able to do that when you zoom or google classroom with the kids um I, last semester i know there's a way to do it i'm just not very tech savvy but last yeah. semester i would send them the links to the videos and we would watch it um there must be a way that we can watch it together but what i was having them do is just watch it um on their own on mute and I could see their faces while they were listening to the <laughs> song. It was kind of weird, but I want to find a way that we can all listen to it at the same time like we would in class. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take a out. look at that because I want to do that too. So if you find a solution, okay. let me know. And if I find a solution, I'll let you know. Definitely. There's got to be a way. It seems like a pretty simple thing. I can but. do it with Zoom. I don't know with Google Classroom, but we'll figure it out. And it could be a cool thing when we're taking attendance just to have music on in the background, I thought. Totally. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yep. That's great. Um, and so um, how was your summer? Uh, it's been a little nutty. I bought a house and moved. Cool. And um, so a lot going on, but also at the same time, everything sort of standing still because of you know what that yeah, we yeah. mentioned. Yeah. Um, so it's been weird. It's been busy, but it's like it's like uh, a lot of movement, but also very much uh, not <clears throat> too much movement. Not as much as I would like for a summer, but yeah, okay. I know it's, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's kind of hard to uh, predict anything, and so you know it's hard to lay yeah. plans. I feel like it's almost like a fog where you have to be within 25 feet of something to really know. Yeah. <laughs> what to do. Exactly. Yeah, totally. Yeah. But congratulations on the house. That's exciting. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Now, what were you like as a freshman? How would you describe yourself? Oh, man. Um, I was very, um, I, went, I grew up in Boston. Um, okay. So I was at Boston Latin Academy. Oh. And um, my so mom I was went there. Actually, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, um, so I started in seventh grade. It's a seventh through 12 school. So I started in seventh grade. So I was a freshman, but I wasn't a new student. I had been already been through that the two years previous. So, um, so it was a different kind of freshman experience, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but I always had, um, I always sort of, I never had a specific group of friends. I was sort of friends with multiple groups of friends. Um, mm -hmm. And that's when I started actually really getting into French was freshman year of, of high school. Mm -hmm. uh, I just took it as a class, as a mandatory class, and I really, really took to it and loved it. And then that summer, I went and spent a month with a host family in France, and that was what did it. That was, that was it. That was yeah, it. And then that, that was a big school, the, right? Isn't yeah, that like big? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's big school. Um, so there's Boston Latin and Boston Latin Academy. One used to be boys and one used to be yep. girls yep. back in the day. Um, yep. Mine was um, right literally across the street from Fenway Park. Oh, yeah. So during ball season, uh, like I would smell the sausage but vendors like right. wafting into my math class. It was That's really funny. bizarre. We would get half days on home games and it was it was crazy. It was a That's very cool. strange high school experience, but cool. Yeah. But good. My mom would, she would commute an hour and 45 minutes, I think each way to go to that school. Wow. And she grew up in Dorchester Heights and it was a big gotcha. truck. And then her mom was the switchboard operator at a hotel in Copley Square. So she could get tickets oh. for the games. 
And oh, that's when nice. the that's when the Boston Braves used to play at Fenway too. Right, right. Yep. My so, my dad probably remembers that. Yep, yeah. Yeah. My mom was a Boston Braves fan. So nice. pe- people don't really remember that 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 team no. was there. When, yeah, when yeah. did they stop existing? I th- well, they're in Atlanta. They moved to Atlanta. I don't oh, know. That's right. Okay. That must have been yep. in the mid fifties. I think they moved to Atlanta. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I forgot all about them. That's yeah. Right. Well, thanks so much for doing this. I, your, your students are very lucky to have you this fall, and we're gonna oh, make sure it, make sure it works well for them. And um, yeah, good. And, yeah. Anything you want to? Any advice you want to give them about l- remote learning? Um, I think just uh, don't be afraid to to reach out and ask teachers for help. You know, like don't don't. Um, if you're feeling anxious or you're, you just want to, you know, reach out and be like, this, this is hard for me, or this is like, this isn't working or, or even to make suggestions. Cause mm-hmm. I know for me, a lot of my students are way more tech savvy than I am. So yeah. I look to them for help in terms of like, Hey, you could be doing this or we could do this cool thing. So like, you know, um, everyone that I've met at NHS is super kind so far and personable um, in terms of the faculty. So I feel like, I want kids to feel comfortable to reach out to us. And, yeah, you know, I've been hearing you know. that echoed throughout the interviews. Um, it, it's important yeah. because when we're in the room, it's a little bit easier to see what's going on. Yeah, totally. So, totally. so I think and that's great advice. And I just think across the board. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, yeah. thanks so much. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Definitely. All right, take care.